participating in that community and business-wise at this point. Um, I think it's been difficult for you to get an answer because it is still sort of evolving. Um, we've talked to probably 10 communities. I would say every one of them has expressed interest. Probably six or seven of them, I think, are ready to join and what we want to do when municipalities decide yes let's work together on this we're going to turn to them to say um, would you consider appointing a representative to uh, help govern the entity um, and, 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 and form a board in, in that way we also have other people who have expressed interest in being on the board uh, before any money flows from the federal government into Efficiency Maine and from Efficiency Maine down to the Maine Green Energy Alliance, there will be a fully structured board, a nonprofit board that um, will have municipal representation, uh, private sector representation. The one private sector entity that's engaged now is, is Casella Waste Systems. Um, and it's actually a great benefit to the Maine Green Energy Alliance because having them as a partner, and by the time the board is structured, there'll be a minority partner, that a minority member that doesn't have control in, in voting. Um, uh, the great advantage of them is they are a willing generator of electricity that's interested in participating and tying to all of the benefits that we've talked about with PACE programs, tying to that um, provision of electricity generated in Maine um, at a discounted rate, at a rate that's benchmarked against the standard offer rate. And quite honestly, this is why Efficiency Maine was interested in having us as part of their application, because we see that as another strong tool to move the needle on getting people to sign up. We can now talk about not only will you be using your electricity efficiently, but for those communities that uh, engage, we can offer discounted electricity prices. So what Casella has been doing is getting it permitting to become an aggregator of electric demand so it can bundle pools of demand. So if Old Town had 200 homes that wanted to join a uh, community energy group, it could purchase its power uh, through the Maine Green Energy Alliance, be provided by the generator Casella, and it would be provided at a rate that's discounted below the standard offer rate that people pay now. Actually, oh, we're, we're looking at that, sure. and, I, and I apologize, I'm really not trying to put no, you on okay. the spot, just looking at all this stuff. I know that, like, originally, or the original information had, um, like, Sacco and Bitterford and Westbrook as all part of the Green Energy Alliance, and then I believe I've read in the papers where they've decided not to be a part of that anymore, and, and just as a community. I mean, it sounds great, yep. um, but if there's other communities that look at it, decided not to, do you have any idea? ideas as to why they chose yeah. not to. Yeah, Bitterford and Sacco chose not to. Uh, Westbrook uh, remains interested. Um, but a lot of this grew out of a task force that the governor created um, that involved the cities of Bitterford and Sacco and Casella, who owns the Merck facility in Bitterford. And the task force was formed to see if those two entities, really Biddeford, Biddeford and Sacco and Merck, could work out the challenges that they've had for years and years. And in putting those people in the same room, 
they came up with a bunch of interesting ideas that they all endorsed initially. Um, and many of those ideas were related to providing the discounted electricity to make some improvements down at the facility in Biddeford. Ultimately, the mayor of the city of Biddeford decided uh, against the whole idea and said, we really don't want to be a part of, uh, of, of this task force any further or involved with Merck any further, quite frankly. And, um, and Saco uh, joined them. Uh, Westbrook has now. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Jack. Anyone else in the audience? Okay. Uh, council, just wanted to see if we want Peggy to just make the next step going with Tom and we have to look for that tonight at least with the consensus. And our, everybody's. So we should go the way they do the next step. Yeah, and what we'll do is we'll look at the Portland ordinance and try to be, have, it, have some sort of idea in terms of what steps we have to take. Okay. All right, well, let's adjourn the workshop and move right along. Check to make sure we're all still here. Yeah, I'm still on this.